Hello, my name is Anthony Garcia. I'm a freelance laser operator who typically does EDM festivals around America. Today, I'm gonna to be teaching you how to get the most out of Beyond in a live setting. Today, we're using Pangolin Beyond 2.1 Ultimate. The screen on the left has the LaserTech Canada Universe, and on the right, we have our workspace. The MIDI controller is the Akai APC40 Mark I, the mapping of which is available for free with Beyond 2.1, and on the left, we have my MIDI controllers that I pre-programmed, one for cues and one for effects. Our setup includes nine lasers, five of which connected via FB4 and four of which connected via FB3. The FB3 is good for ease of use and for beginners, while the FB4 allows professional network integration into the projector itself. Our FB4s are connected with a single CAT6 line running to a switch on stage, with CAT6 Ethernet cables running to each FB4 from the switch. And the FB3s are connected using a StarTech USB over Ethernet extender, which you can purchase through Pangolin. While our setup includes both FB4s and FB3s, your setup can include one or the other if required. We are also using an NTEC DMX to USB Pro to connect our hazers on stage to our controller setup at front of house. You can also control Beyond with the Grand MA lighting console. After creating cues, you save them to the FB4's onboard memory card. Once connected to the FB4's, you can trigger cues and effects in real time on the Grand MA. Click this video for more in-depth information on using Grand MA with Beyond. 